a local neighborhood dealing with severe vandalism after someone drove by shooting out car windows with a BB gun. It happened in Shorewood, right on the border of White Center and Burien. Fox 13's Dave Detling joins us from Shorewood Elementary, where the suspect's car was seen speeding through the area, firing shots. Good evening. We're actually across the street from that elementary school, and this all started Wednesday in the 5 o'clock hour. You can see some of the damage caused. This Jeep right here had its back window blown out. It's since been covered over. All this a result of this. A BB gun. We've taken this from one of the other scenes. Tonight, neighbors are speaking out for obvious safety concerns. Calling out the shop back in Shorewood on the sound. This man cleaning up glass after someone shot at the family's Jeep Wednesday. And it was all caught on camera. Someone in that red Toyota RAV4 reportedly armed with a BB gun speeding down 28th Avenue Southwest shooting at cars. So I was sitting on the porch with my son um, and I looked up. I heard like kind of a thud. A family car parked outside Annie Monroe's house on Marine Drive Southwest was also hit. The BMW had two windows shattered by BBs. It was not cheap. It was um, close to a grand. Because of her vantage point on the porch, she says she got a good look at the suspect and the vehicle. I saw a red car coming right down the street right here. Um, and there was a guy hanging out of the window, and I could tell he was kind of putting away like a pellet gun. That man hitting at least four vehicles that we know of. A few houses down from Annie, Karosh Baramani's SUV was also hit. Photos showed the damaged back window. Luckily, no one was hurt, but this dad said those BBs could have hit anyone. There's a lot of kids around this neighborhood, and I'm sure that the perpetrators were going pretty quickly through our streets while they were breaking windows. But this happened so fast, it was like impossible to see it coming. Neighbors are compiling as many pictures and videos of the vehicle in question as they can, along with all the damage left behind. They're sharing it across social media. That's how we found out so many other people were affected, and we've all made police reports. And so hopefully this will lead to uh, the perpetrators being caught, we hope. Uh, we've had a lot of unusual crimes in the neighborhood. And there could be other vehicles impacted, so it's a good idea to check your windows to see if there's any damage. Now, if you have any information about this case, you can either call Burien Police or the Seattle Police Department. In short, with Dave Detling, Fox 13 News.